Welcome to Unit 4 BSA Invoicing Management Introduction video. When we start from the Progress Dashboard, we can directly navigate into our project. We can see that our project has a WIP accrual of $1,670 against a budget of a little under $10,000. We are going to click on the project and open the project. Before we are going to create the invoice, I want to highlight that based on the details of the PSA work breakdown structure, we work with several project item types. Now the project item types are your contract types which you are using against your project. So for example, this line item type is T&M by the hour. We also offer T&M by the day. Fixed fee for milestone billing, percentage complete, expense billable, expense fixed fee, product billing, recurring billing, recurring billing including products, but also retainers. Retainers on time and retainer on expenses. So up to nine contract types on an item standard in one project available. Now today we're going to build the time and material that we booked towards this engagement. A total of 1,670. To review that, from a project perspective, we can directly see that in our performance report. Our performance report shows all the time that we have actually booked into the project, times the hourly rate, we'll conclude a margin. So what we have budgeted, also as a margin, we can directly, dynamically follow up on the margin level in our project, giving us the tools to manage our project properly. Scroll a bit to the right, you will see that we have incurred a whip at $1,670 that we will clear out in a minute by creating an invoice. So let's create the invoice. We're clicking on the invoice button and then we are recalling upon all our time entries. So we have in total three line items that we have booked our time against and we can create directly an invoice from these three approved line items with the hour entries underneath. So when we click on OK, the system automatically generates for us an invoice in the draft that can then be approved by the designated roles. So we are now in the invoice. We can directly see our invoice line items. So we have three line items that we are billing to, and we can see the hour entries against those line items. For us still to allow a write-on or a write-off at this stage. If you want to preview the invoice, there's a preview available within the screen of your invoice. This will actually show you the report, the way it ends up at the customer. If you agree on this invoice, you can then approve the invoice and after approval it will generate an invoice number and it will generate a journal posting that will be captured in here and used for integration via the PSA Financials module into our standard integration with Business Central. Now this is an invoice scenario that we have determined based on a single invoice. Batch invoicing will also be available, as well as invoice plans that you can plan into the system. Now, you will see that if we refresh this information, the WIP has been cleared. So we created an invoice on a project from the approved time entries. This invoice is now transacted into the financial backend and the WIP is cleared. This concludes the introduction video of Unit 4 PSA Invoicing Management.